Well, hello, my darlings. I sure do hope that all is well with each and every one of you. Today, we are going to create a three-tiered princess ballerina themed diaper cake. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need ribbon or trim, any ribbon or trim of your choice. You will need invisible thread or fishing line. You will need a roll of diamond wrap. You will also need a crown or a tiara. You will need some of this tool in a design and or color of your choice. It came off of this spool and I cut them into six inch rectangles. You will also need, of course, a pack of dappers. You will need five of these nine inch cylindrical vases, one nine inch trumpet vase. You will also need six of these LED push lights, any embellishment of your choice and most importantly you will need three foam boards one 15 inch one 11 inch and one 9 inch of course we'll need our handy dandy tools let's get crafting so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to use a nine inch vase, which four of them are going to become the feet of our diaper cake. And we're going to use one of them to place marks where we want those legs to be. What I'm doing here is I'm just taking a marker. It really does not matter which color you use. And I'm placing my vase in position and marking out where I'm going to want those vases to sit when I turn this styrofoam over. Now it is very important that you do not neglect this step because as you will see when we start to do our build up it's going to be tricky to place your foam if you do not already have these circles. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and place my last circle and once I have done that that, I will come back to show you what our next step is going to be. So now we have placed our circles underneath. It is now time to trim our foam. And the ribbon that I am using is a crepe design. It is pink. I found this ribbon in Hobby Lobby and got it when they were running a 50% off their ribbon and trims sale. And so all I'm doing here is I am using my hot glue gun to place a stream of glue straight through the middle of that foam board. Now, as you can see, because I'm using this ribbon and this ribbon is very slight or very light, you are going to, if you're going to duplicate this process with this ribbon, make sure that that ribbon is not getting in the glue at all. Very tricky, but possible. Because if that ribbon does get stuck in that glue, it is going to be very tedious to get it out. And so I'm just gonna continue this process going all the way around and then I'll be back to show you what our next step is. So here we have our three foam boards that have been trimmed in our pink ribbon and as you can see here I went around once but here you can see where I closed it I overlapped just to make sure that that foam board would be covered um, precisely and as you can see doubling it gave it a fuller prettier look. Now that we have prepared all three of our foam boards, it is now time to prepare the legs upon which our diaper cake is going to sit. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover the bottom of our feet. I am choosing to use this ribbon that says princess and has a crown on it because we're going to be topping 
um, the top of our diaper cake with a crown or a tiara and all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place some glue on the bottom of that vase and start to lay my ribbon now the reason why we are using this thickness of a ribbon is to ensure that when we put that LED push light in there that is going to illuminate our legs, you won't be able to see it per se from the sides. All you will be able to see is the light. And so just making sure that the things that we make are seamless and there is no look of DIY to it. We are just going to cover the bases of these vase to ensure that our project is going to look 100% perfect. And so as you can see, I'm just closing that loop, putting a few more beads of glue down strategically, placing it on the ribbon that I started with and two drops on the end of the ribbon that we're working with. And I'm just going to loop it over press it down hold it for a few seconds and that ribbon should be secure now that I have done that I can now very easily place my push light into my vase and turn it on with my scissors so now what we're going to do is we are going to place our marking for our second layer where another vase is going to be connected there and again just like we did the first time i'm just going to turn that vase upside down make sure that it's sitting in the middle of that styrofoam i'm taking a marker and i'm just etching around it marking it so that when i'm ready for my build up it will be an easy thing or I would have an easy time finding my placement. Now that I have done that, it is time to take our diapers and mold them into the shape that we would like. Now usually when you see diaper cakes, typically you would find diapers that are rolled in around themselves but today I'm going to use another technique and that technique to me looks cleaner um, just in my opinion and will help to give your cake a more rounded seamless look now as you can see what I'm doing is I'm trying to wrap the diapers around themselves and once I have gotten my rudimentary shape what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a large rubber band you're going to need two of these and I'm going to wrap it around my diapers once I have wrapped it around my diapers and I'm I'm sure now that these diapers are not going to go any place what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to finagle with them and see if I can get them into the position that I need them to be of course again like I said we're trying to go for a spiral and so as you can see I'm positioning excuse me positioning the diapers where I need them to be drawing them in excuse me drawing them in to the middle and pulling them out making sure that they're overlapped one on top the other because what we're also trying to do is make sure that those diapers are taking up the entire width of that foam because we do not want to see any foam when it is time to put our diaper together now what you see i'm doing here is i'm placing yet another vase into the middle of those diapers and this too is going to help me to create the form that i need so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue playing with this until i can get it nice and perfect and then i will be back to tell you what our next step is so here we have our tool that i have cut into seven 
inch rectangles and what we're going to use this tool for is we're going to use this tool to create a tutu around our second layer of our diaper cake and to do this and as you can see I'm working backwards so you guys can see what I'm doing but to do this we are going to take the tool wrap it around itself lengthways okay, I'm gonna show you so you're gonna take a sheet of tool you're going to wrap it around itself lengthways you're going to fold it into half and then you're going to stick it downwards into the rubber band. Once you have stuck it down into the rubber band, it is simply a matter of pushing your fingers through that loop and pulling the loose ends through it to form a type of knot, pulling it through tightening it as best as you can you don't want to be pulling too much on this rubber band or stretching it out too much because remember this rubber band is what is holding your diapers together so i'm going to show you one more time this time i'm going i'm going to use a white one so again we are folding the tool in on itself folding it in half pinching it if you will to get a smaller base sticking your fingers through to find the opening of that loop pulling it through and tightening and tightening it as best you can so I'm going to continue this process going all the way around the second layer and then I'll be back to show you what our next step is so now what we are going to do as you can see i have already mapped out where i need this diamond wrap to be and cut out the pieces that i needed and the reason why i'm going to line the very top layer of our foam well rather i should say the bottom of our top layer with foam is because on top of this layer I am going to be placing a floral arrangement so this diamond wrap is going to do one of two things it is going to help me to feel when I'm breaching the foam and I'm pushing through if my stems are too long and secondly it is also going to help to catch any little foam pieces or rather stop those foam pieces from falling down into our diaper cake and so all you see I'm doing is I'm picking up the pieces that I have already pre-cut and I am placing hot glue under them when I'm finished placing the hot glue and all of the pieces are laying exactly where I need them to be it is simply going to be a matter of taking my scissors and cutting around the foam to cut off the excess that diamond wrap that you see hanging off and believe me when I tell you it is very easy to cut through diamond wrap so it is not going to be an issue at all okay so here we are and we are now back to the first foam piece that we created and as you can see you can see the four circles that we created before now here is the first reason they're going to come in handy what I'm doing here now is I'm placing these pacifier favors onto these greening pins and what these favors on these greening pins is going to allow me the possibility of doing is placing these hanging pacifiers into our lit columns that are going to be the base for our diaper cake and so what I'm doing here is I am now placing those greening pins in the middle of those holes that we created so here you can see our pacifiers that are hanging on that invisible thread and what we are going to do now is we are going to place our first layer 
of foam onto our base now before you do this you're going to have to make sure that your lights are on and this project is one that you're going to have to put all of the pieces together or rather i should say have completed all of the individual parts of this project and only then be able to set it up once you get to your final destination or the event hall and so as you can see what i'm doing is i am finding the placement of those circles that we made in the very first segment of this video and because we took that extra step first we can see that our pacifiers are hanging unencumbered in those vases and so as you can see all i'm doing here is i am quickly putting down some beads of glue not too much because of course when I'm finished with this video I'm going to take this whole thing apart but I would humbly suggest to you if you are building this for an event what you will have to do is place hot glue around the entire brim of those vases to ensure that once you set this up and put it on a table it is not going to be bounced around and so I am going to continue placing my glue and once I have done that I'm going to come back to show you what our next step is so here is the second layer of our cake with our tutu that we created earlier it's starting to come together guys I'm so excited so now I am going to take my ballerina. I thought that I was filming when I was placing the ballerina shoes into that second section, but unfortunately I was not. So I'm going to go through the top layer with you so that you can see how that was done. And so all I have done was I am placing or have placed the ballerina on a green ink pen. She already came with a hook. Um, she is a Christmas ornament and so she already had a little tassel that you can use to hang on the tree. And what I have done was like I said, I placed her on a greening pin and then I was able to cut. I had to cut that greening pin almost in half because, of course, our foam is very thin. And once I cut that greening pin in half, I then went ahead and I took two beads of hot glue placed it on the ends of that green ink pin and then slid it up into the foam to ensure that the weight of the ballerina did not pull the green ink pin out of position and so now that i have done all of that what i'm doing here is i am sealing that styrofoam in place on top of the vase using just a few beads of glue guys I'm going to take all of this down but if you are going to be using this for an event I humbly again suggest that you are going to be placing glue all the way around the opening of that vase and so now as you can see I'm just cleaning up any glue fronds that are there and then I'll come back to show you what our next step is so now for the final layer of our diaper cake, we are going to be making a floral arrangement on top, making sure that the stems that we're using on our flowers are not too long. Again, we use that diamond wrap to ensure that there's not going to be too much styrofoam that's falling down but the other reason that I used the styrofoam was to give me a sense or a feel once I pushed through that foam to feel that give which is telling me I cannot push those flowers in anymore and so I'm just going to continue this process 
to create my floral arrangement and then I will clean this up remove any glue fronts that are there set the table and then I'll be back to show you what a finished project looks like but before I go let me say this as you can see as an afterthought I chose to go in with some roses just sticking them there's no hot glue just sticking them in between the diapers that are there on the second and or rather on the yes on the second and the first layer and then i also opted to use some crystal garlands and that was the same process as the ballerina and the ballerina shoes sticking them on greening pins cutting those greening pins in half placing beads of glue on the greening pins and pushing them up into the foam to make sure that they are secure so again i'm just going to finish placing my arrangements and then i'll be back to show you what our finished project looks like well there you have it my darlings our princess ballerina themed diaper cake isn't this gorgeous oh my gosh this puts me back in the mind of when i was expecting all those many years ago and just the beautiful things and the excitement i felt on my shower day listen this diaper cake if anyone were ever to recreate this or to present this to an expecting mother trust me she would not forget you from the floating ballerina shoes to the floating ballerina to the floating and illuminated pacifiers to the gr glass crystals that are embellishing this piece to the two-tone roses to the butterflies that are there this piece my loves is very well put together i think we have nailed yet again another dynamic piece listen if you have found value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below if you are in the know or you have any expectant mothers in your family or your close circle of friends please be sure to share this video with them any event planners event coordinators I would appreciate that greatly to my Danny's darlings I just want to take this time to thank you for all of your love your questions your comments your encouragement please know that it is not waiting I read every single one of your comments and I respond to all of them. If you are not yet a Danny's darling and you would love to join our ever-growing community of DIYers, please be sure to humbly consider subscribing to our channel today as well as hitting that notification bell to ensure that you will be among the first to know when one of our videos are published my loves my darlings again this is another prime example of our motto here on this channel why buy when you can DIY with just a few bits and pieces and the vision of what you would hope to create you also would be able to put marvelous pieces together i sure did enjoy working with you guys today and i hope that we will be able to see each other again very soon and until then my loves please take care of yourselves for me know that i love you all bye now